So how are you? Okay, thanks. Okay, so I have a lot of work. Okay, so I hope you also practice our online training program, and uh, you can also learn step by step. Okay, so okay, okay so I hope you can you. easily learn all of the things uh, from beginners to advanced. Okay, so basically, uh, today is our third number of class. Okay, and uh, today I also try to show you this part uh, how you can easily uh, import the CSV file format uh in mm -hmm. find a specific coordinate such as latitude and longitude how can easily do this okay. i also try to discuss about that and also try to show you the two days uh third days all of the course content okay so let's go start so okay. just i simply share my screen can you see my screen uh, not yet oh okay so now it's okay yeah yeah no, it's good. Okay. So first of all, uh, I will try to show you this part. Uh, how can easily import the CSV file format uh, in Google Earth Engine platform? Okay. So just I simply open mm -hmm. a new code editor. So first of all, you can see uh, this is the, your CSV file format. Uh, you have also need to mention a let or long. You can just simply put the name. Any name you can put. Suppose in this time I simply uh, represented all of the latitude in this column, and in this column I also put here the all of the longitude. Okay, so if you are, you can also add here the okay. some any information. Suppose I also add here the you can easily add here the name uh, or of the coordinate or any types information you can also add for a specific oh. point as a attribute table. Okay, you can add. Okay, so in this time I just simply import okay. this uh, coordinate in Google Earth Engine number platform. or na name. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, name, name, a specific point number name. of of name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can also put this. There is a no problem. But in this time, I uh, I simply uh put all of the coordinate uh in our Google Earth Engine platform. Okay. So let's go. Uh, you can simply okay. put the column name. Let and long look like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then sim uh, must be saved this uh CSV file format in uh, in CSV file format. You must be saved under uh, in the CSV file format. Okay. So here I already mm -hmm. saved the CSV file format. In this time, I simply open my code editor and then simply click on the asset tab. And I simply put, uh, click on this new and go to the CSV. From the CSV file format, I simply go to the source file. So here I already uh, saved the coordinate name. Okay, you can use any name. Okay, so I simply put the coordinate okay. and uh, just open. In this time, you can see uh, here I already upload this uh, coordinate. So I simply change the name in this time. I simply put the name suppose location location okay i can put the name location you can use any name no problem and you mm -hmm. must be mentioned in here you can see you must be mentioned in here latitude and longitude you must be mentioned okay in, in this file so here you can see in this file lat and long long longitude latitude and longitude okay so latitude i simply put here the uh l a t this is my column name you can see which i put in here latitude yeah i put the l a t l a t let okay and longitude i simply put here the l o n okay then everything is okay then i simply click to the upload okay now you can see our tax table will be running and here you can see now it will be uploaded uh starting okay so now it will be start to uploading mm -hmm. So within one minute, it uploaded. Then I can simply uh, show all of, all of my point, uh, coordinate point in my in this map. Okay. So now it's working. Just a one minute. Okay. And uh, if we uh, add a name and, uh, uh, for example, number, uh, all uh, uh, represent all uh, display in our map, yeah. Yeah, it's also display. Yeah. Suppose in this time okay. we can also uh, suppose you can also add here the some other information, such as if specific uh, point, uh, what is the name? 
you can also put the how many values different types of information mm -hmm. you can add in here and you can also upload it uh, in your uh, google earth engine platform okay and okay. in this time i can get only for the coordinate uh, with a specific point mm -hmm. it's working Okay, so it's done. You can see. I just simply click on the asset tab and then find out my name location. So it working. I think some networking issue that's it. I'm trying. With some networking issues, I hope. I see if I can new code editor again. So then I simply go to the asset and then find out the name, location. Okay, here you can see I can get this. Okay, location. Okay. I just simply mm -hmm. click on here, and now it display all of the attribute table. You can see, and also display their uh, uh, table, all of the point. Okay, you can see. I can get this, and I can also get the uh, point. Okay, I simply click on feature. In this time, you can see uh, there is a nothing information because I can only import the coordinate, a specific latitude and longitude. Okay. And I did not mm -hmm. add any types of information such as name as well as also value. I did not add anything. Just I simply import the point. So that's why in this time it only showing the point, and uh, I did not find out any information in my attribute table. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just simply import this. I simply import this. You can see it will be imported all of the point. And now I can simply, if you want, you can simply change the name. There is a no problem. I simply change the name and put this. Uh, suppose points okay. can you put any name i want to show all of my point in my map interactive view so just i simply click on here our function is that map dot map dot add layer add layer function and then call this my object name is the points okay then click to the run you can see one layer will be added here but i did not focus this point so in this time i simply center focus all of the point just i simply use the function map dot center object and then call the points and zoom level suppose uh, eight and click the run so now you can see it focus all of the point we can see okay mm -hmm. so all of the point now you can see it display which i imported from the coordinate okay so now oh, if you okay. uh, you can easily add here the different types of information so mainly uh this system we need when you, we, you want to make the land use land cover classification map using the ground truth data suppose in this time mm -hmm. uh suppose this uh it's identify suppose water body this point you can simply go to this place and take this gps location of coordinate and you identify this is the water body suppose uh this mm -hmm. is the settlement so mainly uh when you want to work with the ground truth data for making the land use land cover classification map we can simply import our csv file format mm -hmm. all of the training point from the ground 
we can take the training point from the water in the ground we take the training point for the barren land from the ground okay so all of the training point we can collect from the ground as a gps location only for the coordinate and then we can simply okay. import all of the coordinate and then run our model okay then we can easily get the better result okay so this is the process suppose in this time you can also change this point color so i simply change the point color suppose i will simply add a dictionary in here and put this name color and put here the suppose red and click to the run so now i can get all of the training point as the red color you can see okay oh, so now mm -hmm. i can see red color okay so different types of uh analysis you can also do suppose in this time uh in this point suppose uh, so mainly when you want to uh use the ground truth point as a land use land cover classification map we can follow this method we can go to the okay. field and collect the training point and then import this training point in google earth engine platform and work with this okay okay so i hope Thank you can you. understand about this for how you can easily import the coordinate specific coordinate in google earth engine platform yeah okay thank you okay okay so now we will jump our today's class so just i simply open my slide so so hi and welcome to the seven days oh. online training program on google earth engine from beginners to advanced level and i am course coordinator and to uh, this is our full course content we try to complete all of the part within seven days and each day i will provide you the two hours online training and one hours for your problem solving okay so let's go over today's class so today is our third day so mainly this third day course content will be that i will try to discuss about that how we can easily filtering and displaying the set uh, satellite images mainly sentinel 2 okay and previous class we also try to discuss about the landsat imagery okay so mainly yeah. we try to discuss about the sentinel 2 satellite imagery how you can easily filter and how you can easily monitoring the normalized difference water index using this satellite images so mainly ndwi this is the water index it identify the water body on the surface okay we also try to show you this part then how you can easily make the time series chart okay so mainly uh previous class i also try to show you some ndvi map from the modis satellite imagery as well as also landsat satellite imagery but we did not show the ndvi time series chart so what is the temporal changes when ndvi is the high and low we did not make any analysis so today's class i also try to show you this part how you can easily make the ndvi time series chart over a period of time we also okay. try to discuss about that how you can easily export any shape file from the google earth engine mm -hmm. platform how you can easily export any shape file from the google earth engine platform then calculating any indices from the satellite images how you can easily calculate it and then how to add the gradient legend on your map and lst monitoring how you can easily make the land surface temperature monitoring and then ndwi calculate from the modis and landsat data okay so we, we try to complete all of the topics uh within the two hours but if it not completed then we also continue from our uh, next class okay? okay okay so so let's go so first of all filtering and visualizing the satellite images in google earth engine platform so when you want to filter any types of satellite images it can be landsat or sentinel when you want to filter your filtering process depends on three factor first factor is that your region okay first factor is your region suppose you want to need the satellite images for the region of ukraine or region of dhaka city or region of any city or any boundary you want to need so this is the one factor for filtering you want to need a region so you can easily import your shape file you can easily import your boundary shape file in google earth engine platform and set your region we already covered this part how you can easily import the boundary shape file okay yes so first of all you have to select your region okay this is the one factor another factor is that you need to filter image properties suppose i want to need the sentinel 2 satellite imagery less than one person cloud cover so this is the image properties this image properties i want to filter i don't need for the all of the cloud cover image i want to need only for this image which image will be not more than one person cloud cover so this is the another factor image specific image properties 
third filter is that specific time period suppose mm -hmm. i don't need for the all of the year i need only for the one specific year 2017 or any specific uh, uh, season such as winter season summer season okay so when you want to filter the landsat or sentinel image we have to follow the three factor first factor is that you have to select your region then you have to filter the image properties it can be cloud cover it can be cloud cover pixel per sentence and third factor is that specific time period i want to need the satellite mm -hmm. image for year of 2017 i want to need the satellite image for year of 2017 summer season rainy season or any other season any time period okay so let's go so i simply open my code editor and try to show you all of the things practically just so in this time uh suppose i want to need this satellite image so for any ukraine cities suppose i want to need the satellite image so here i can already uh, import it our asset for ukraine uh, cities from this ukraine cities i want to select the cities and i want to need this satellite images for this region okay so let's go so in this time you can see uh this is my attribute table and in this attribute table uh here i can get the name two column name one mm -hmm. is identify different types of city in ukraine you can see different types of city suppose i want to work with these cities uh these cities i want to work 